Hey everybody, today we are in Somerville, Georgia for trade day. It's a uh, flea market they have here every uh, Tuesday and Saturday. And uh, I don't know if you've ever been to a flea market before, but it's always in interesting. You never know what you're gonna find. But uh, anyway, that's what we're out doing today. So uh, we figured we would try to take y'all along and let's go out here and see what we can find. Also functions as a, uh, I guess, a farmer's market. There's always a lot of produce out here. Everything, few plants for people to sit out. Those are really pretty tomatoes there. I've got a lot of uh, dick and screws here for sale. Looks like some spreaders and there's some old wheels over there. Got some clothing items and some baskets for sale here. Sandals. This guy's got some chainsaws and lawnmowers and things here. There's a shop back. And here's a collection, I guess, phone holders and cases. Here's another produce vendor. Got a lot of sweet potatoes to see there and cucumbers. Peanuts. A lot of people come and they uh, bring used clothes, by, clothes items for sale. Decor items I see some of brought. This guy, he's got some old wash tubs and uh, scrub boards. And there's old igloo cooler that are disappearing. Several lanterns here. Got some fishing rods here. Just all kind of items. You never know what you're going to find here. Collection of old bottles and jars here. One of them says Landry's Dairy from Maine, it looks like. Collection of uh, blue jeans and other clothing items for the most part. Here's some used chairs. Yeah, start to put out his collection of hats here. And I see they got a large selection of cowboy boots over here. A few work boots mixed in, looks like. Rod iron pans here. A little nursery set up out here. And there's a lot of different flowers that are really pretty out here. I'm impressed actually. So they also have some fruit trees and looks like looks like a little small Japanese uh, maple over there, I think. That's pretty neat. Another little nursery set up. And again, they look pretty impressive. some watermelons set up over there. These are some of the first I've seen of the year this year. Okay, I just happened to see this sitting here at the flea market. And I talked with a guy, this is actually a 57 Chevrolet front end. But he has put it on a Dodge Dakota uh, truck frame. And I see he even used the uh, rear, rear quarter panel trim on the 57 Chevy on here. But he turned this pickup truck into a, well, I don't know what you call it really, but it's a 57 front end on a uh, Dodge Dakota. But anyway, it is very unusual. Let me get here back here at the back. He even used the, uh, the back bumper from the 57 Chevrolet on here. But anyway, this is definitely different. I never saw that before. Got some more cowboy hats out out here. It looks like some wallets down here. Some bags down here. So got some fishing rods and boat paddles out here. We got some signage here at this booth in the picture. And there's an old uh, uh, milk urn. And uh, looks like it's got a tractor seat attached to it. Pieces of a race car, it looks like. If you probably use them for wall hangers in your man cave. We have a nice buckets here. It looks like a motorcycle seat over there. We go to this guy's got a old bumper jack. One they used to have a metal bumper on car. Guy selling some Briggs Stratton style engines over there. Here's the front door used at this lot. That looks like a some type of 
maybe sandblasting apparatus or something over there. Not sure that orange thing. Most of this is automotive related, it looks like. Some ladders down there. Somebody's got some lawnmowers for sale here. Jack stands. Here I see some furniture, and there's an old uh, antique sewing machine, it looks like. Boogie boards, one of them's from Ron John, it says there. An old uh, park bench, it looks like, and here's some type of uh, war helmets, it looks like. There's a skeet thrower over there in the distance. Clothing set up over here. Somebody has a uh, telescope for $15, it looks like. I got some old plows on the back of that trailer yeah, there for sale. Oh, oh, Saw blade over there and some old uh, wire tractor wheels it looks like. Now here's a brand new tire. There's some old gas cans that you can't buy anymore. Yeah, At least one of them is. The other is a boat gas can, I think. do have some chickens here if you're in the market for some chickens. Neat little old, old uh, tricycle. It does look like it has some age on it. Everything is uh, metal. Got a collection of old hubcaps here. If you see one that uh, your old car might need, they've got some. They do have a little snack bar here that offers biscuits and things in the morning. I got some weed eaters out here and uh, looks like some ceiling fans. So, looks like maybe some restaurant uh, grade equipment right here. Maybe a restaurant clothes somewhere or something. Golf clubs over there. Looks like some camera stands. Some fishing rods there. We got some uh, water hoses. I see this guy's got some socks over here. It looks like some type of signage there. Got some Coca Cola signage there. And I see pe old Pepsi sign back here. He's got him some rabbits here for sale. I see old gas can over underneath the table. Some more uh, pots and pans. I got some old rabbits here. Got some black and white ones. Got a gray one. There's a good look at them here. Now this right here. If you need some detour signs, they've got them right here. Some table lamps there if you in the market for some. Some outdoor furniture over here for sale. And some more old uh, gas cans if you need them for, uh, I guess, decoration purposes. Okay, everybody. That was my look around the flea market this morning. And I did buy something, bought a couple of things. I went and bought some tomatoes because they had some really nice looking tomatoes there. And I bought a few of those, but I also something that I wasn't planning on buying, didn't even know that I needed. Uh, I bought, well, let me show you what I bought. I bought a Mead Telestar telescope. And the, what happens a lot of times at the flea market is you'll go there and people are just cleaning out their closets and homes and stuff. Guy told me that he bought this for his son years ago and the son used it a couple times. Then it went into a closet and has stayed there for years and they just wanted to get rid of it. Anyway, he was asking $15 for it there, and he said he gave the 148, and uh, I didn't really need one of these or anything, so I asked if he would take 10, and of course, he said, yeah, he'd, he'd take 10 because he just wanted to get rid of it. But anyway, 
as you can see here, I have set it up and uh, it was all there. Uh, everything looked like it was in good condition and everything. And uh, I've never actually looked through this telescope at the night sky and I was hoping I could tonight, but it's very cloudy. So I might have to wait a few days, but everything is there. All the lenses that the box says are, should be there are there. And uh, the only thing not there are the instructions. And I asked him about that before I bought it. And he said he did not think the instructions were in the box, but that's okay. I can go online probably and find uh, instructions for it. Now, one thing you should know about the flea markets, if you haven't been there for a while, all the prices just about are negotiable. Uh, like I say, a lot of times people are just getting rid of stuff that they don't need anymore. And flea markets have been around a long time before we had uh, the eBay and the Facebook yard sale and all that kind of stuff. This is where people used to get rid of their stuff. So anyway, it's fun just to go and walk around and uh, see what you can find because there's always some interesting stuff there. But anyway, that was my trip today and that's what I bought for $10. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, uh, like it and give it a thumbs up. And... Uh, who knows what I'll be doing next time. But until next time, I hope that all of y'all are blessed. And uh, again, I hope I do see you next time. So, bye.